Uh, we got in, uh, got here uh, to Stockholm Tuesday night. Uh, got settled in, got a workout, got some sleep, and then uh, have been having a good time. You know, doing the usual fight week uh, PR stuff and and getting to mix in a little sightseeing in between. Just really enjoying the city and, and having a great time over here. Uh, because I had such a quick turnaround from my last fight in January, I, I've been ahead of schedule on weight the whole time. So really haven't had to worry about cutting weight or dieting too hard, and, and that's allowed me to enjoy the trip that much more. Um, you know, for the last two months or so, I've just really been in, in fight training mode and have been working out twice a day and, and uh, trying to recover in between and, and take it pretty easy. And So it's been nice to, to finally get the hard work behind me and, and get over here to Sweden and start to get settled in. And, you know, this, this part of it, this part of the process is really fun, you know, getting to meet new people and see new places and, and uh, talk about the fight, really just put the final touches on preparation and, and sharpen up for, for this weekend. Uh, I'm really excited to, to be making my UFC debut and, and even more so that, that we got set as the co-main event. That's that's a great opportunity for me to, to really showcase my skills for a lot of fans that may not have seen me fight before. Um, it, it's going to be a lot of fun. I, I just can't wait. Um, and if we just get your thoughts on um, okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I've got a lot of respect for Ross. I've, I've been a fan of his since he first uh, came through the Ultimate Fighter show, and, and I've always tried to keep an eye out for, for his fights. He, he's got an aggressive, uh, crowd-pleasing style, and you know he's a, he's a dangerous striker. i got to really be on my A-game if I'm going to come away with the win here. Uh, it's a, in, in some ways sort of a, a traditional striker versus grappler matchup, and, and uh, you know I'm definitely going to be uh, going to have my biggest advantage if I can get the fight to the ground, but, but I'm not afraid to stand and strike with Ross either. I've, I've put a lot of work in over the last few years on my stand-up, and, and I think uh, I bring a, a little bit of a unique, unorthodox style to the table that could give him some problems. Um, you know, we spent a, a, a lot of time working hard to get ready for Ross's style, and, and uh, you know we, we know where he's best, what he's good at, what his tendencies are, and, and uh, now I just have to go out on fight night and execute the game plan, and uh, if I do things the way I'm supposed to, then I'm going to frustrate him a little bit standing and, and find my spot to close the distance and get my hands on him, put him on the mat, and get come away with the submission. I've, I've heard through the grapevine that Ross is saying that I won't be comfortable standing with him, and, and uh, you know, to an extent, that's true. I'm always more comfortable on the ground. That's that's where I'm at my best. That's where I feel at home. But but I'm not afraid to strike with anybody, and, and uh, you know, I, I think I've got some tricks up my sleeve that can give him some problems. Um, I've heard a lot of talk since this fight was announced about me being thrown to the wolves, or or maybe this matchup was was some sort of punishment towards me for for my dad's conflict with Dana White and the UFC, and you know, I just think that's silly. If you look at at my last several opponents, they've been getting progressively more and more difficult and, and you know I, I'm just coming off a win over KJ Nunes who's a former champion has been in there with the best in the world and you know I, I stood in there with him for 15 minutes I'm not a, I'm not afraid to stand in there with a, with with Ross I think he, he's another step up but I think it's a logical next step and and it's right about the level of competition I was expecting um, people make a lot of the the pressure that comes along with with having a famous last name and, and having to follow in the footsteps of someone as accomplished as my dad was and you know I, I just really don't think about it that way it's you know it's it's a lot of extra eyes on me and and maybe some heightened expectation of what I'll do or, or a, you know sort of a preconceived notion of how I'm gonna fight but you know my job is just to go out there and perform to the level I know I'm capable of and that's really the only pressure I feel is that pressure that I put on myself uh, to, to all the fans out there you know here in Sweden and abroad I, I just appreciate the support and, and uh, look forward to bringing you a great fight on Saturday night.